Welcome to Sports Scramble, where we take your favorite sports and mix them together. Play tennis with a golf club. Point. Bowl a strike with a basketball. Nice. Smash a home run with a hockey stick. Hi guys, it's me, your pal Nerfenstein, and today we're looking at Sports Scramble on the Oculus Quest. In a nutshell, Sports Scramble is part party game, part sports sim, but with the added ability to mix things up. Play bowling with a basketball, tennis with a golf club, baseball with a fish, yes, a fish. Sure, it's like Wii Sports on acid. Or you can opt for the more traditional mode for the three games within, which is pretty cool. Great tutorial system starts you off in whichever of the three sports you choose, those being the aforementioned tennis, three, baseball, and two, bowling. One. It's all super simple and clearly aimed more at fun than being precise. Anyone should be able to play this one, but being better at it means that you'll be able to use the scramble mechanic more to your benefit. Matching items with one another generally makes them more powerful, so being able to hit those icons in the tennis when they appear is something that you'll want to do. Similarly in the baseball, you'll get bat upgrades, making each Number swing one. more powerful if you can chain them together. And there's also crazy ball upgrades. Bowling 2 comes with special balls that do crazy things, like blowing up on pin oh, contact, a or bowling a turkey egg that splits into three little turkeys as it approaches the pins. It's all a lot of fun and graphically pretty darn great. Just look at the shine on this fish. And the netting right, on this baseball glove. Honestly, I was pretty impressed with the training. graphics. Just quickly, the bowling 2 is loads of fun and you get various balls. And also the lanes change, which I thought was really cool. When the pins reset, the lane resets and things get crazy. It really changes up the gameplay and is a lot of fun. Baseball as well has got its own quirky gameplay additions, but I should probably point out that you don't actually control the running part of the game nor the fielding. It's all meant to be super simple, and it is, but again, with some really cool gameplay options. Personally, I really love Sports Scramble. I also felt like it adjusted to my small play space, which and is really serve. cool. I didn't find myself running all over on um, the, the tennis court, change. though I'm assuming you, you could if you had a bigger back. play space. Sports Scramble has got charm, it's cute, it's got some nice graphics, so great motion thing. control and it's tracking, didn't serve. have any problems other than uh, the battery cover slipped off one of the controllers at one point. But that was the only issue that I've had. It's a great one for newcomers and the scramble mechanic means it's got a fair bit of replayability. And this is the only real downside of the game. I felt like it could have done with some more single player stuff, but then you can play it online multiplayer. So if you like multiplayer games, uh, I'd say grab the demo and uh, I'd even say grab this full game. It's well worth the purchase price, guys. It's just a heap of fun and as I said anyone can play it that's it that's sports scramble I hope this has helped you I've tried to be really quick and precise rather than rambling on and on happy gaming everyone Nerfenstein out that's a single your opponent now has a metal bat